Hello, and welcome back to that build with a difference. Um, because of a few problems I had on the original series, uh, I've had to sort of abandon it. Uh, but on the plus side, we've now got new mod packs. We're now using uh, Feed the Beast Unleashed version 1.1.3, which adds, as you can see, loads of little molten versions of stuff because you put them in the smeltery and stuff like that. Uh, we've got phantom stone blocks, we've got I think we still have all the Mistcraft stuff as well. Um, basically, hundreds more mods than the last one. Yes, many, many bees. Lots and lots and lots of bees. But anyway, we have loads of mods to get through. Um, not get through, but enjoy. And um, yeah, unfortunately, we've had to start a brand new server. There was no way I could convert it across. So we're starting episode one. We're starting again. Um, this time from scratch, I'm not building anything to begin with. Um, and innovatively named That Build 2.0. Uh, I just, I think the name, I like the name. The name's stuck. So, yeah. Right, so, new server, as always. We have to find a place to build. So, chickens. Um,. I want to head over this way. I like big flat areas. They look... I like big areas like this. They look quite cool. You can see stuff that's coming from a distance. Uh, worrying thing is, I think the only trees around are these ones. Uh, and from what I remember, they're pink. No problem with pink... With a pink house or pink trees or anything. It's perfectly fine. It's just the tree is a pain to chop down. Um, oh, is it worth going over there for those? Oh, hello. Oh, this also has hats. So, give me a hat. Wait. Mr. Heavy Metal. Nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over here. Uh, I would prefer to chop down some of these again, just because it's an easier tree to chop down. And um, we'll get a load of this. And we'll see what kind of stuff we can make out of it. First sort of tree is going to be a pain just because I have nothing to speed up the process. Um, hopefully we should get a semi basic house going. Um, obviously we can just upgrade it as we go along, so there's no, it's not really a problem. <clears throat> okay, and just chop this one down. Doo -doo -doo. I ideally want to get as many trees or as much sort of as much done shelter wise as I can before night because night brings bad things and bad things are not good surprisingly you know you'd think they might be but no apparently bad things are bad there is no good version okay so we have a wooden axe let me chop that out take that with me right now this should be slightly faster I also have a wooden pickaxe with me um, Usually that's the only two things I build right at the beginning because then I can upgrade, I can get upgrades basically. Um, I'll find a place that I can mine stone, get a few blocks, make a stone pickaxe and then I can make all stone tools which are way better than the wooden ones, understandably. Uh, but because I need wood first before anything I figured I should get an axe as well. Uh, okay so that's two trees down. I think I'd say I need about 30-ish wood, I'd say. Uh, I generally like to build a semi-pretty house to begin with. Uh, just makes... I don't know, I don't... I've, I've done I've done it where I, where I have like a mud hut to begin with. And it's good, it works, it keeps things away. But you have to upgrade it from like the very beginning. And yeah, I prefer to just have a generally nice looking place to live from the go from the get go <clears throat> so let me chop this one down as well hey, no anomalies I don't think that's another thing I'm <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm, I'm a perfectionist in many ways I'm a perfectionist so if I remove a block of water and or water even and it leaves behind the little sort of like the directional watery thing that it leaves behind if it does that I get really annoyed with it and I have to remove it because that drives me nuts 
Um, something else about this mod pack, or like this change, uh, we have biomes of plenty, so there's going to be loads of stuff that I've never even seen before. Um, there is also. Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? No, okay, we'll have to come back when I have stone. Yeah, so there's um, biomes of plenty, so we have loads of different biomes to check out and look at and enjoy. <clears throat> um, what else have we got? Uh, oh yeah, one that I have been looking forward to using is, um, I think it's called the Tinker's something. Uh, Tinker's... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It basically, um, it, it lets you make tools out of pretty much anything. Um, you wouldn't just have sort of sticks and, like, sticks for a handle, and then three stone for the pickaxe head. You'd actually have... Oh, God. I... Yes? Can I help, help you at all? Can... Hang on. These, maybe? Was it was it these? Hang on. Oh. Yeah, little baby. Oh, you're getting bred <clears throat> or breaded, you know. Right. So, well, oh, let's do. We'll start here. This, we can always move. Well, possibly not move, but we can always um, just upgrade and change a little bit. We've got chickens. I could already see we've got rubber over there. We've got whatever the heck that is. The hell is that? Oh, pigs, I think. Or funny coloured cows. One of them. What the heck is this? Oh. Barley. Oh, barley. Barley and me. Um, that was bad. Oh, God, why? That was so bad. Anyways, um, right. So, let's get some barley. Because we can... We can have some drink at some point. Right. Uh, where are we at? Oh, God. Yeah, we need a house. Right. This will be my little clearing. It's going to be a little house. It won't be anything quite as grand as the original that build house. But, of course, it will be upgraded. Also, uh, something else. I don't have Greg Tech anymore. Greg Tech isn't on this mod pack, so um, so our sort of endless journey for a quarry that we did before, yeah, we will be going for a quarry again because quarries are an amazing source of materials um, and very easy. So we will be going for a quarry again, but it will be a lot easier. Um, I already know what I need to build them. And that kind of thing. So it's a lot easier to do. Uh, I want a door about there, I guess. Oh, God. Okay, okay, yeah, again, something else about me. Um, this is learning about me today. Uh, as I already said, I'm a perfectionist. But that kind of extends to everything in Minecraft. Because I know that it's going to be an uneven gap either side of this door. I have to rebuild this door. Um, it makes building shelters slightly complicated. Um, but at any rate, it also won't have a roof. Oh, get out of the way. There we go. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, yep. We're all good. Oh, God. Uh, and and no, I can't do that again. So let's just go. There we go. And because of the whole, like, log direction thing... It means I can't just place it, otherwise it will go everywhere. Oh, yes, of course. Um, as I said, we're running um, Feed the Beast Unleashed, which is Feed the Beast version is 1.1.3, but that means that the Minecraft version we're running is 1.6.2, I think it is. Yeah, I think so, yeah, 1.6.2, um, which basically means that we have a bunch of advanced ish advanced ish features um to play with uh mainly it's for windows uh mainly it would be oh god damn it it'll be things like uh you can drag 
to uh, place things in the crafting bench rather than having to click each individual item. Uh, what else? You can... I think there's horses were added in this one. Or little, well, compared to the last one, there are now horses. Uh, there should be anvils as well. Um, there's... Oh, God, there's loads. There's loads. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember each individual one off the top of my head right at this moment. But there are lots and lots and lots and lots to check out. Uh, the main thing that I remember is the crafting bench bit. Because I did think that was quite handy. Um, it's basically, like I said, you just drag instead of... Um, instead of clicking each individual one, you just drag it around the board or around the crafting bench. And it makes things that way, which is very nice. Okay, I think it's getting to a point where anemones are going to be spawning, also known as enemies, mobs, bad dudes, critters. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's... Yeah, there we go. Look, I left my house, didn't I? What an idiot. Right, because I've left my house, it is now surrounded by zombies. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need... Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, hello. Okay, quickly. Quickly, 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 uh, quickly. No, I didn't want that. No, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. No. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting worried. There's no zombie. It's not coming near me. All right. Yeah, break you. And did I get that? Yeah. Fuck. That's shy. No. <clears throat> right, kill you. Yeah. Food. Awesome. Is that a testificate zombie? Oh no, it's an angry zombie. Or an angry testificate zombie, one of them. I right, need to get in. Uh, give me the wood. Now, we want to... Just double check how much space I have. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Right. Gonna need more wood. God damn it. That was where I got it from. Okay, we're only gonna have to survive on rotten flesh for a minute. I was gonna say, was I gonna be able to eat all of that and not get ill? Oh, this is something else as well. We've got um, armor. Armorage. <clears throat> um, it's done a little bit differently there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. This should be fine. If I just check out armors. Wait, 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 wait. Curse my English spelling. Power armor chest plate. Oh, God. Yeah, so according to that, it looks like you get a power armor chest plate. That's all we managed to find out before this dude turned up and messed with our fun. Oh right. Uh, oh right. So you still got the art. So you still got the tinker power on my tinker table. Nice. Oh wait, that's that looks a bit different. Oh Jesus, yeah. How did I not say that? Um, different texture pack. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Yeah, but I'm sure you'd have already you already guessed anyway. But <clears throat> different texture pack. Um, was using facts. Uh, now I'm using things called Sortex. Or it's made by Sortex. Um, it's really, it's just a really simple. It's a really nice texture pack, actually. It just takes the kind of things we've already got. Um, and oh god, is that an enchanted leather? Well, go for that. Come here. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. 